morning, well, it's afternoon. Uh, not made a video for a while, so I thought I'd just make this one as I'm walking down the canal. Um, watch a video this morning by Yashra Shalom. Okay, if you don't know his channel, go and check it out. He's got some good stuff. The guy makes a lot of sense, and I consider him a brother in the Muna faith or belief, whatever you want to call it. He made a video about political correctness. Now, it's always a hot potato subject for me. It is because I hate political correctness. I think it's retarded, and I say that with confidence. It's retarded. Thing is, it seems to be a way for the system to try to make it so you can't offend anybody. So if you say something or do something, it can't offend anybody. Or if you don't say or do certain things, it shouldn't offend anybody. Problem is, it doesn't work. Okay? You cannot cover every eventuality. It's not possible. You just can't do it. Um, tweet, tweet. <laughs> you can't do it. If you're going to stand your ground and believe in something strongly and express it, you're going to have to piss somebody off. That's it. It's got to be done. Um, and it seems to me, I mean, he gave examples of stereotypes. People, like people say, oh yeah, you can't say Mexicans do this because of stereotyping, and someone's going to get offended. But there's no two ways about it because, unfortunately, stereotypes exist, and there's no way about it, you know? If you look at certain people groups, certain, whether it's ethnic or whether it's religious or whether it's. Um, particular activity or hobby stereotypes exist I fit several stereotypes I like modern railways, I like steam engines I consider myself a bit of a geek I fit certain stereotypes whether I like it or not ok, now ok, I don't have an anorak maybe if I got that I'll fit even better but there's no chance to get one of them ok, so stereotypes exist and if you try and express or talk about a certain group well, if someone says, oh you're being racist or you're being malignant or anything negative and then they come down on you. And this is, I believe, if you go right into the core of the issue, go right back into the core, I think a lot of this comes down again to the devil's attack on Yahuwah, okay, our creator. Because at the end of the day, the scriptures say what they say, and if you're going to stick to them or try to stick to them, you're going to naff people off. Right? You're going to naff people off. So, it seems to be an attack on that at the core, in my opinion. Right? Think about it. How many Christians, let's say, have been like arrested or something because they wear a cross? Or because they say, oh, Jesus is the only way. Right? Now, I don't believe Jesus is really his name. It's Yahushua. And I got shown to Yeshua. And I got changed to Jesus. The point being, it seems to be the people who get marginalised and attacked more for breaking political correctness seem to be people who believe in the Bible whether you're a Christian or Jew or somewhere in between. That's what I believe. I think the evidence is pretty clear. So, just think about it. Look into it, it's all an attack. If you're gonna follow political correctness, you can't speak the truth. You can't freely express yourself. You have to be namby-pamby. Oh, I can't say this. Oh, I might upset someone. Tough. Okay, if you wanna say something, if you feel you need to say something, then say it. Don't do it to offend people, but if it's going to be the resultant outcome, and there's no way around it, then you have to do it. All right? we, live in a, we live in a society where we've all conditioned to be a bunch of pansies, and it annoys me. Because all my life I've been a pansy, and I'm trying not to be a pansy. And when I say that, I'm talking about tiptoeing. Oh, I might upset someone to say this. Oh, I might, I've got to be considerate of everything. Yeah, we've got to be considerate, but you can't consider everybody all the time. Is, I don't know how you can do that. And again, if we look to our example, if we look to Yahushua and Mashiach or Messiah or the Christ, he offended lots of people. Yeah, he would be tactful sometimes. All the times he would just blurt it out and say it. You people are snakes. You're vipers. You're hypocrites. That's a harsh word, isn't it? Hypocrite. Mm. Right? We don't like that. It's an attack. Boom. But, you know, we've been given the fluffy Jesus instead of the Hebrew Yahushua, who, yes, of course he's got his kind side, but he has his hard side as well. He's more of a man. He's not a fanny. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to make this video, because I haven't made one for a good while. It's quite nice to make a vlog occasionally. You just upload it and it's done. No faffing about them. So, 
comments would be nice if upset you sorry but i'm going to be honest see ya